The World Health Organization estimates that by December 2018, about 37 million people had HIV. This, according to the WHO, calls for the provision of access to treatment where confidential HIV testing services are available to keep stigmatization. Verify Health Ghana is campaigning for a community-based approach to tackle HIV as Ghana joins the rest of the world to celebrate World AIDS Day on December 1. World AIDS Day was first observed in 1988. Each year, organizations and individuals across the world bring attention to the HIV epidemic, endeavor to increase HIV awareness and knowledge, speak out against HIV stigma, and call for an increased response to the scourge. HIV remains one of the top global issues of concern. Verify Health Ghana celebrated this year's AIDS Day with an event dubbed for some bringing together for communities, students, the media, entrepreneurs and corporate organizations to celebrate the strides made over the years, such as access to testing and counseling, treatment, care and support, prevention of mother-to-child transmission and community outreach by various stakeholders. The country director of UNAIDS, Ms. Angela Trenton Imbondi, shared her views on the need for young people to be empowered and given safe space to grow and blossom. As development and government agencies, we need to always empower young people and give them safe spaces to grow and blossom. We must also accompany them. This is the spirit of the UNAIDS partnership with Verify, along with the mission of the Republic of France, the Ghana AIDS Commission, MTN, and the Ghana Innovation Hub. The Acting Director General of the Ghana AIDS Commission, Mr. Treme Tuyahini, said this year marks a critical point in the national response because it is the forerunner to 2020, when 1990 Fast Track will be due for reckoning. This year marks a very critical point in our national response because it is the forerunner to the year 2020 when the 1990 fast track targets will be due for reckoning. Ghana is one of many nations that are unlikely to achieve these targets by the end of 2020. And that is the reason the global community and the HIV fraternity are calling on communities to undertake interventions necessary to accelerate progress towards the targets. The ambassador of the Republic of France, Ms. Anne Sophie, expressed the need to meet the 1990 targets by 2030. The founder and CEO of Verified Health, Mr. Alexander Quasi, also disclosed some initiatives taken by the organization in the fight against HIV. 